Hey everyone, welcome back to the Beam Rebunker. Today we're looking at Slither. This one's from 2006, uh, both written and directed by James Gunn. Uh, what we have is the story of this thing falls from outer space. It's this alien parasite that is pretty much intent on either impregnating or eating the entire human race. Um, and it's impregnates people with these little worms that then, quote, infect more people, uh, then it can eat them, and blah, blah. So, um, James Gunn definitely shows his uh, trauma, the fact that he used to do stuff for trauma films, definitely shows in this, James Gunn has, he has his own particular style of the way he does things, and it's always going to be, if it's James Gunn, you know, there's going to be something weird in it, and you get that in this one. Um, this film, you've got some good lead characters with, uh, you've got, um, Nathan Fillion playing the town sheriff. You have Elizabeth Banks. Um, and this is a good kind of horror comedy. Uh, there's plenty of, plenty of gross out. This movie is not for people who are squeamish. If, if, if people bursting open and stuff like that is not for you, this movie's not for you. Um, but this was a, it was a good, fun movie. And there's a lot of nods to other horror films in this. you got, I mean, the, the, the Blob, and it came from within, and Basket Case, and just... So many nods to other horror films that have come along the way, especially dealing with this whole kind of alien invasion and, and taking over people and controlling them, invasion, the body snatchers, all that kind of stuff. It all kind of, you know, is like, it, I don't know if I want to say homage, but it draws from all of those different things. And it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I, I think the effects were really well done for, for what the movie is. And like I said, there's definitely a high gross-out factor in this one. Um, but yeah, it's it's fun, it's gross, it's it's... A little tasteless at times, but it's 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 hum it's it's all done in good, good, fun and good humor. So, on a scale of one to ten, um, this really is it's. So yeah, I mean you know in the movie you got like these little worm like things that infect people, um, and I'm just kind of sit with that. It's kind of like a tapeworm, and I know somebody saying, well, tapeworms are terrible. Yes, those of you who know about tapeworms, tapeworms are terrible. But I'm thinking more of the when people think about you know the rosy side effect of tapeworms is that. I can eat whatever I want. Tapeworms are great. So it's like the tapeworms without the, you know, the mental uh, corrosion and the intestinal blockage and the meningitis and the liver and kidney failure. It's the good things of tapeworms. Like the fact that, you know, I can eat 12 cheeseburgers and not gain a pound. Kind of. Um, and that tapeworms are also disgusting. They are. It's a little parasite living in your gut. That's what that one was. Um, like I said... It's fun. Nathan Fillion brings his his particular brand of of humor and, and quirkiness, or even I don't know if I see smarminess, but quirkiness. I guess I would is the best answer to it. And Elizabeth Banks, I like her as an actress, and and she she is that. Uh, too often in, in a lot of movies, you have the female leads are cast by these people who are supposed to be you know absolutely gorgeous, but aren't believable in in the roles they play. Elizabeth Banks, who I think is a very attractive person, but she's like, I don't, I don't want to say like normal pretty, but you know, she's that girl next door type. She's she's that that person that this is someone you could actually meet type of pretty. You know, it's it's the she's not like so far fake, you know, like plastic and and you know, eighteen pounds of makeup. She looks like a real person, and I can believe her in the role she plays, and that is a big thing with movies for me. I want to be able to believe that these people can be the people they are. If you're going to cast, you know, freaking Denise Richards, a nuclear physicist, yeah, I'm not going to buy that. Sorry, James Bond. I know I'm already freaking this stretching my suspension of disbelief, but there's only so far it'll stretch before that rubber band will fucking break. So, I'm getting off topic. But this was a fun movie. If you, if you like that kind of alien evasion, gross-out type stuff, it, this is a movie you should check out. If, if you're a fan of horror at all, I think this one is worth checking out. I, if you like James Gunn, absolutely check it out. This is probably some of his better stuff. So that's all I have for this one. Till next time, why don't you all stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.